power went off for more than 11,000 Evergy customers. Tonight, the number's still out, down to about 4,800 customers. Yeah, not an ideal day for that to happen. Evergy saying a substation failure actually caused the issue. Fox 4's Malik Jackson joins us now from Waldo, just outside of Betty Ray's ice cream shop. Malik, folks can even cool off with ice cream because they were forced to close this evening. That is correct. Forced to take their ice cream to their other location in the River Market, but they weren't along. Grocery stores, libraries, and people that live in and around Waldo found themselves drenched in a humid Kansas City sweat. It's odd that it's happening on the hottest day. Um, that's for sure. It's humid. You know, people's uh, temperatures get short. Uh, they're, they're, they get uh, agitated easily in this heat. And uh, yeah, it's just brutal. You heard it there, the hottest day of the year and the lights go out. More importantly, air conditioning units couldn't do their job. 3.30 we lost power and it's, uh, I think it's about 5.30 now. So about two hours we've lost, uh, since we lost power. Just midday today, the power went off about four o'clock and um, it's not too hot yet, but I was kind of expecting it to pop back on and didn't. For hours, people forced to do what they could to stay cool in an unrelenting spring heat. Just a little more air movement, you know. To be frank, just not what one wants to deal with on, shall I say it again, the hottest day of the year. It's brutal. Um, we're surviving. Uh, we'll, we'll be all right, um, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are uh, in worse shape than we are. Evergy says a substation failure caused the outages that peaked over 10,000, but slowly came down as the day progressed, also causing stoplights to quit working, Whole Foods and Brookside forced to close, and the one place you'd want to be on a day like today, the ice cream store. Betty Ray's not able to stay open as temperatures rose. We really can't do anything because we serve ice cream. So without power, we really can't do anything. And as of now, Evergy still reporting, as you heard at the top of this, over 4,000 outages still here at Betty Ray's. The ice cream shop still without power. The stoplights here in Brookside still down. And the quick trip right across the street, you can see Evergy out here trying to put this power back on. Something the people that live around here are hoping gets fixed so that these power outages cease with the forecast the rest of this week. Guys, could be